Hey everybody, Scott Doutweather here with another Capture One tutorial. And today I want to talk about the advanced color slider and some of the things that you can do with it in Lightroom that you can't seem to do with it inside of Capture One. One of the primary ones would be here, uh, our creative use of spent background paper has been used to create a dress of sorts. And I want to make it blue, but inside of Capture One, uh, that really isn't an option. So if we go to the color editor, uh, the advanced tab here, if you're using the basic version of Capture One, by the way, you only have the basic color editor. Uh, so you'll need to be using the pro version for this. Uh, so the advanced tab, by the way, this advanced color editor is worth the purchase price alone, in my opinion. Uh, so here we just pick the color we want. Let's say this pink. And we can take it and we can slide the hue slider as far as it will go. And you see that it only takes it to this kind of purpley thing. Or if we go the other way, it only takes us to this tan. We can't get to blue, which we can do inside of Capture or inside of Lightroom, but we can't do it inside of Capture One. Uh, so what is the solution? Uh, so there is a way to do this. So in order to do this uh, a little bit smarter, though, I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to click and hold here and create a new filled adjustment layer. And I'm going to call this color. I'm going to do this because I have the ability to then mask the effect. Uh, but if we look right now, the mask is filling the entire uh, screen. I hit M to see that, by the way. So if I go to my color editor here and we do the same trick, we click on this. All the magic happens right here in the advanced color editor. If I click view selected color range, it will now show me the areas that are being affected by this selection. Uh, so I've gone over this before, but I'll do it very quickly. Uh, this is the edges of your selected color. So we don't want to get any of her skin. So if we're too far up here, we'll catch the pink in her skin and uh, some of the red in the background. Uh, so we kind of pull that down until we're just getting uh, just the outfit and the makeup and her nails. Uh, but we don't getting like the armpits or any of the other parts of the body. The bottom part really doesn't matter because we're not, we don't really have any blue in this image. So we don't have to worry about it so much. Uh, this part here is the saturation. So you can see right here, the collar uh, is not being selected. So we would typically just pull this all the way down uh, to select this entire wedge here. Uh, and the smoothness is how sharp of a selection this is. Like, do we allow a little bit of wiggle room on this color or are we firm with it? And the smoothness here, I just kind of leave it at the default. Uh, but what I want to do is slide the hue all the way over and I'll turn the selected range off because we know we got it right. And we can see again, we got to the pink, but we can't get any farther. Uh, but you can, if you click again, it will create another in this stack here. And this is all in the same layer, but you can adjust multiple color selections inside of one advanced color editor. So we have a bunch of stacks of them here. Uh, so in here, again, I'm just going to make the selection. Again, I could probably turn this on to make sure that I don't select your skin and pull something down like this. There is no way to copy, by the way, from this one to this one uh, that I know of. So even by creating a preset that doesn't work. So here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to slide the hue all the way over again. And now we get to purple and we didn't get to purple before. And the reason this works is because Capture One kind of interprets all of these at once, not in a stack. So if you notice, it thinks the color I selected is pink. And on this one here, it thinks the color I selected is also pink, although I hit it in a little bit different area. Uh, so each time it does not see this purple. So if I click it again, um, it thinks I selected again this pink color. Uh, so again, we do the same trick, turn it so we can only see the parts that we're selecting. I wish we could copy, but we can't. Uh, so just kind of set this wedge here. And then again, I'm going to shift this over. And now we are at blue. Uh, so we went all the way around from here to here. And we can, we can keep going. Let's do one more just for giggles. So we're going to click here and view the selected color. Make sure we're fully saturated. Pull it down a bit uncheck that and then pull this the hue all the way over and we made it to blue. Now because we did this on a layer we can actually go up to layers and we can use our eraser and we can take that away from say the makeup and the nails and now we have a blue outfit and uh, the, the pink upper part. Uh, so you can do anything you'd like to do here once you have this done uh, that single layer controls all of that conversion from pink to blue and again they stack because Capture One thinks we picked pink this entire time even though it kept shifting it 30 each time. So that's a trick in Capture One. If you're trying to go farther than your, your hue adjustment will let you do normally, this is the way you can make that happen. 
If you found this video great and you learned something, please take a moment to click the like button. I really appreciate that and it helps other viewers see this or find this video, which of course helps the channel, which means I put up more videos. Um, I have not been doing so much streaming because I've been doing uh, some shooting and I'm doing a lot more video on there, by the way. So you'll be getting a lot more behind the scenes videos coming to the member area below as well as some other tutorials coming up soon. Everybody take care and stay safe.